Man, I like that. I like Charles. Charles is cool. Flashback. Hey, Charles, stop telling me everything I'm already doing. You are dumb, stupid, and slow. Stay behind me. You ever had to sneeze and you go, uh, uh, ah, uh, nothing. And just nothing comes out. Like you, It's like, uh, 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 you start making that face because you think you're about to sneeze. You do, uh, get yourself ready and then you go, and keep sniffing because you think you're about to sneeze and then it doesn't come out. Yeah, that just happened to me. And I hate that. It pisses me off, man. I could just, I'm like, just let me sneeze. That's all I want to do is sneeze. Get this stuff out of my mouth, you know? I hate, also hate people who sneeze loud. You don't have to sneeze loud. You can sneeze at a normal noise sound. Sorry, I got a little pissed off right there. Because niggas be going, ah, choo! I be like, shut up. Why are you sneezing so damn loud? Shut the hell up. Nigga. All right. Anyways, we're back with more Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, hope you last watched the last video. We uh we did st stuff. Um, I guess I can go into detail what we did. Uh, we came to this place, these little cabin areas. Uh, we had to go out uh and look for. We found a girl named Sadie. House burned down. Stuff like that. Uh, we had to go back out, look for John. Found him, and then we went back out. Uh, and found um what's it called? Found the old Driscoll place. Took that over. Found a train. Now we're gonna rob a train in this video. That's what's happening. You're all caught up. If you want to really get in more detail and actual, like, what happened, go watch the last video. It was pretty good. Um, we're back. More Arthur Morgan. And we're going to continue the Red Dead Redemption 2 story. Let's get right to it. We're okay. Yeah, he's right. We we're okay. A few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. Yes, we will. We always have. Always will. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> hey, I sent got Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. What? Why are you Wait dragging me along? Hold on. Uh, well, I here. always gotta do everything. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. <laughs> Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find Ow. it. And you can kill Damn, it. Damn, I just put you shit on my rest, head. You need rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. All right. Let's go. <coughs> here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. That is true. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come All right, that's right. This way. Let's go. Been a wild few days, all right. Uh, careful. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. Yeah. You've had a lot put on you. I know. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Nobody does Being for some a... reason. Well, Javier told me a bit, but that's about it. Still weren't good. Hey, stop here a second. Hey, right. I see something. Tell me what oh. you see. <clears throat> I gotta get my bow. Can I get the bow. Okay, so can you get the book? There's deer been here and recently. How can you tell? Yeah, how, yeah, how can you tell? Okay, I mean, not. I could. Excuse me? Let's walk it from here. Okay. Grab the bow. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. It made me seem like I'm dumb. Maybe it made me seem like I'm dumb in my life. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you up, Charles. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. All right. Cause we're following these tracks, right? Oh, I see it. 
Down there. I know, I see it. You see him? Yes. I'm... Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. I already got it. Hey, Charles, stop telling me everything I'm already doing. You are dumb, stupid, and slow. Stay behind me. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. There you got it. Back quite hard. You'll feel when it's Shut up! Gosh. Oh, let's not start talking. Jeez. Lift that damn head up. Yep. Got your ass. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. All right, well, you, you could have sure picked up okay? You could have picked up the other. Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. You could have picked up the other while we were okay. near it. I'll go grab the other one. I just need to finish it. Charles was attacked. Damn, I thought it would have just knocked him down, not fucking murdered him. Oh, bitch. I was like, I'm just going to run him over real quick, you know, a little be a little playful. Arthur. You awake back there? Yeah. yeah. Just, just thinking. Thank you. Bam it. We ain't ever talked that much, you me. They ain't let me kill it. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I, just, I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. I like treats Charles. Me fair. Most of you do. And for <laughs> a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. I like How long that. have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years. 20 years. Like Jeez. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Yeah. Man, I like that. I like Charles. Charles is cool. Flashback. Hey, Charles, stop telling me everything I'm already doing. You are dumb, stupid, and slow. Stay behind me. Brought some food back, boys. Uh, careful. Shut up. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. Got the food for you. Just drop them. What a surprise. You find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Oh, he loves <laughs> it, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Thank you. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> get some extra You're always food. one with the jokes, aren't you? Yes, Come sir. on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. No, I'll so see you both later. Ass. Say, you man. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. 
You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Will do. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need Damn. They skin them and spread them. That's crazy. <sighs> <laughs> spread, the, spread the legs. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. Dutch. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. It's just a Why scratch. Still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. Daddy. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Shut up. By no, you time, weren't. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all what is wrong with her? She was like, now, I can't wait for him. Please find my John. Now. Please find my John. Now, now here she goes, now, you you're a rotten ahead, piece of crap. The charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Got a lot Leviticus of Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet. Sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. That gentleman! You know, he's not wrong. He's just get... something it's like charity. He's just get your charity. horses ready. We have a train to rob. Yes, sir. All right. We're moving out. Follow me. Ah. Wait, that's where we're going? Oh, it's going off the path. My bad. Passing you. Okay, gentlemen. Listen up. All of you, according to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscoll, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you yeah. got a problem with that? Yeah. Well, if you keep your head for once, you worry about yourself, huh? I Enough. will. Trust me, that I will. Bill blows the tracks. We're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Let's ride. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. No. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. Yeah, it the really place would. The will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say 
we go back, and that's the end of it. Oh. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. We here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is Bill, Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Bill. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Actually, yeah, we do. Oh. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your face. Well, I could shoot it from here. Be here any minute now. Kind of crazy. I'm not gonna do that. Cover my face. All right, cover my face. I'm ready. Gonna blow that shit. Wait, hold on. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Uh, shit, no, what? God, oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that more? You <laughs> said it was fine. So it's my oh, fault. Come on. You're pathetic. You know that? Uh, Shit. Calabunga! Oh no, who just fell off the. Javier! I don't think he's gonna be Javier. I think I called him that last time. I don't think. What's his name? I don't I'm remember. Flipping. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Boom! Boom! Oh, I gotta push it. All right, Lenny. Now, You're with me. Oh, what's his name? His name is Javier. I'm not racist. You take him out. Thanks. Oh, oh no, oh no. Hey, yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. take him. Take him, take him, take him. I'm uh. Okay, oh, one second. Hold on, one second. I got a loot. Yeah, let me just take this real quick. Okay. I'll just get with you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going up. We have to stop this train. Oh damn! Oh my get damn, this nigga just snuck my shit. Get off Get the hell off me. Get off, get off me. Get the fuck. Got yeah, I got him. I got a clear shot. Bitch, I no, nah, y'all know he clear shot, because I got his ass. Fuck you, man. Get the fuck off my train. You bitch. Oh, oh get ran over. Where's my hat? Oh, my hat is gone. Ticket. How do I stop this? There we go. Oh, got shooters. Shit, more guards coming out of that train car. Oh my god, his neck is gone. There better be some money at the end. All these bastards must be guarding something. Easy. You still okay? So. Sit down. Water. Let's go. Good shoot, kid. I can see now why the old Driscoll brought so many boys up here for this. Arthur, get over here. You two all right? Yeah. Yes. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Yes. Yeah, let's get them out. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Oh no, I ran out of ammo. Wait one second. 
Va, 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 va. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. All right. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now, light the fuse. Hmm. Cool guys. Don't know. No. Cool guys. Okay. Explosions. Don't let me in that bitch. Jazz is down. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to search it. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. Some bonds. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat yep. as long as I live. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. I right, got the bonds. Let's go. <sighs> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. Uh... See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, get on the train, quick. No, I don't have no deal. Hey, where do you think you're going, bud? Where do you think you're going, bud? You're not going anywhere, bud. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on. And this is what we're going to do with you. You see this mountain clip? You see this view right here? It's a very nice view, right? You like the view? Looks nice to you, right? Well, I was thinking, maybe, possibly, for sure, you can get a closer look at it. How about that? What you think? Well, I got full one. Make sure you did. All right, let's keep moving. Sorry about that. I had to let my true intentions out, and I had to get rid of them. Put that book away and go help. Oh, very fast. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. All I know right. you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Well, as long as you know. We're moving. Get us out the street. I'm trying. I'm trying. Our wheel. Keep us moving, but calm. Our wheel's coming off. Wait, what's up with our back wheel? Oh no, it's good. It's good. Oh no, it's ah, not good. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, you all right back there? Does everything no. look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? 
reckon yeah. we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing it up. It ain't this easy no more. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. <laughs> say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. Is it in there? I think it's in there. Good as new. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. No, uh oh. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. All right. Well, I want to see why. Well, oh, see why. Hear why. So what's up? Not too far now. Stay on this trail. All right. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Oh, man. Stolen clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of that just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Excuse me? Hey, don't blame it on me. Never oh, forget. <laughs> this <laughs> Did we just run over like a rabbit or a squirrel? Just it sounds fancy, don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. Really? Not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All the life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Mm. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Well, we got time. We still heading the right way? That it's depends. Not. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes. Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Well, Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. But what's it called again? Valentine. Over oh, horseshoe. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. Yeah. It's the way it is. Always has been. But something ain't right. Me, you. Something Dutch. ain't right with Dutch. Something ain't right. We've been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so 
Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Hello, everybody. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local You are not trustworthy at all. You know. I don't like him. See if I Strauss. Strike up like, your name business. is Strauss. I don't trust of you at course, all. Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. Oh, thank you. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Oh, Do it oh, properly. Oh, oh, okay. Damn. Chapter 2. Or shoe overlook. A couple of weeks later. Got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. Dang, my beard. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, despite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur. Right Jose. Thank you, sir. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> I'd like to hear it. Whew. I think that's a great place to end it right here. I know there's not, not a lot didn't happen. Like, a lot happened, but a lot didn't happen. It's mainly a lot of cutscenes, which kind of sucks. But, hey, we progress in the story, get to know new characters, and get everyone's backstory. It's all great. 
we we moved from where we were, and now we're in Heartland, the Heartlands, and have Valentine nearby. And I think I'm pretty sure this is where most of the story takes place. I may be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, but this game is still great, man. I I don't like I said, don't remember a lot from it, but just the vibe and the the characters and everyone is just it's just good. It's great, and I can't wait to continue to play more and just remember more. So. Hope y'all enjoyed this. I know the first these first two episodes aren't the most exciting. They're, there's not a lot going on. I'm trying my best to make them exciting as much as possible, and I'm doing what I can do. So I hope y'all enjoy because I know I'm going to. I'm gonna keep playing it, and um, there's more to come. So um, hope y'all enjoyed. Be new, like, comment, subscribe. I'm not gonna try to. This shouldn't be too long a video. It should mainly just be cutscenes, and hopefully more action and stuff comes further down the line in the future episodes. So like I said. If you're new, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video. So. I want what I want, no, I don't care. I'm walking around New York in the blue Montclair. Jody steady thinking, cause you told her not to stare. So, gotta keep my guard around these shorties, I be careful. I've been reaching for my goals, had to do it on my own. Now that girl.